main characters. Johnny. Johnny is a 13-year-old boy who lives with his grandparents and discovers a missing robot from the past. He is gullible and completely believes the story that Professor Childermas told him, even though his grandfather said it was fake. He is timid. For example, when he was afraid to check out what was making the strange voice. He was also creative and caring to his friend Fergie. The Professor. Professor Childermas is an old friend of Johnny's grandpa who helps Johnny. He is smart, serious, and trustworthy. The kids can trust him to help them. He is also caring and has always looked out for Johnny and Fergie. Fergie. Fergie is Johnny's BFF who accompanies him on his adventures. Fergie is skeptical and doesn't always believe everything he's told. He burst out laughing when Johnny told him a questionable story. He is brave, helpful, responsible, and he took care of what needed to be done. Johnny, a long time ago, there was a man named Everett Sloan. He invented a robot for a pitching machine. He tried to sell it to your grandfather's baseball team. Your grandfather said he wanted to see how it worked. But when he went to see it, the gears and everything were in place, but the robot had no source of power. Your grandfather didn't want to buy it. Later that day, a pitching contest was held, and the prize was $100. Everybody failed until one man came in and struck the batter out. People reported that the man looked exactly like Sloan's robot. Hey, you gotta hear this story that the professor told me. You're full of them, Well, look, there's the old abandoned baseball park. Maybe you should go check it out. Okay. Well, I'm going to go explore. I'll wait here for you. What is it, Johnny? I heard a voice. There's nothing here but an old cane. You're just trying to scare me. It has some old printing on it. Maybe we should take it to the professor. I think these markings have to do with Everett Sloan. We should check out his house. Oh, this is an unusual cane. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Cool. It's a sword cane. Well, we better be on our way. Let's go to Sloan's house, Fergie. You go to the attic. Johnny, you look around outside. Sloan's attic is really creepy. that? That robot has no eyes. I need to take this to the, to the professor and Johnny right away. I wonder who that is. They took my eyes. <laughs> Johnny and Fergie, the robot has been stolen. We have to find it. Well, how? Okay, let's split up in different directions. <laughs> I am never it slowed. And your robot wasn't stolen. It just walked away. You see, 
My robot needs human eyes to run, and your eyes will make a fine pair. Oh, get off me! Contest to strike out a famous baseball player has a prize of ten thousand dollars. Sure doesn't seem like anybody's gonna win. I recognize this entry. That's the robot. He's going to strike out the baseball player. We have to stop Sloan and the robot from killing again. Forever. And Sloan just died of a heart attack from the shock. Now you can just forget about all this and just go back to your normal lives. Fabulous. I need counseling. Reflections and connections. I learned that you should always be ready for the unexpected. You should never make assumptions. Professor Childermas just assumed that Everett Sloan was dead. He wasn't dead. He was just at the age of 83, which led them to think that he was dead and be too careless. Also, I learned that you should never mess with black magic. Black magic is the art of sorcery and underworld magic. Four people were killed because of the black magic in this book. Favorite part. My favorite part was when the figure on the bench outside the old abandoned house stood up to reveal that where his eyes were supposed to be were just empty sockets and trickles of blood going down his face. I liked this part because it was really, really freaky. Tortilla chips. On reflections and connections. I learned that you should. <laughs> Main characters. Johnny. Johnny is a 13 year old boy who lives with his grandpa. Johnny. Johnny is a 